Okay, so we got interrupted because I got a phone call and now I have to figure out how to connect to videos, which I have not really done. So we will see how this works. I may have to upload part one and part two. I have no idea. Okay, so that brings me to my third whip or new cast on for this week. And that is this really interesting pattern called Bonjour High. I saw it on the Espace Tricot podcast. It is one of their patterns. And I thought it was very, very cool. And it is, I, it takes one skein of fingering with a mohair. And interestingly, I found this um, skein of Sugar Plum Circus Paradisco, which is absolutely crazy gorgeous pinks, oranges, yellows. I think it's coming out really bright as it is. But I'm pairing it with this Rowan Kid Silk Haze in a light sort of beige, and I couldn't find the colorway. But together, you can see it really softens the color. So if I hold the two next to each other, I think you can really see that one is much, the skein is much brighter, the ball is much brighter. And I think this is gonna be really pretty. The pattern, I don't wanna to show too much, but it, it goes over your shoulders, it's a light fingering, and since I do live in a warmer climate, I think that might be a fun um, thing to have. Okay, so I have a couple more things. Um, to share with you. I have my Stashing the Joy. I got a really exciting purchase from Jill Draper Make Stuff. First of all, it came with this gorgeous tote, make something jilldraper.com with the big knitting stitch. It's huge and really nice canvas. And somehow I didn't even know that it was coming. I ordered skeins of yarn. I didn't see that there was any giveaway or freebie and it came. So that was a really, really fun surprise. Okay, so I ordered, I've been wanting to order some of her yarn for ages and someone of course was talking about it and I remembered that I'd really wanted to see it. And it's this 100% Rambouillet, really sheepy, um, it's called Mini Empire Heather. It has 213 yards, so it's a worsted weight, and it's in this gorgeous bluish color, which is called North Atlantic. I think you can see it. It's kind of blowing out. It's not quite as green as it looks. And then there is this Lemon Zest, which of course I love. This one is called Walnut, it's a deep, deep brown. This is a greenish color. This is the only one I'm not really loving. It's called Ochre. And I don't know if you can see, but it has like this brown patch in it. If it was all the greenish color, I think I'd like it, but I don't like that it has these kind of weird brown patches. So. That's not my favorite, but it'll make a good boy hat or mitts probably. And then this color is a funny color. It's called um, Rose Petal, but it, it doesn't, it has like an undertone of purple. So it's kind of pinky purple undertones. It's very pretty. Um, so I don't know what all of that will be, but I assume they will be hats and mitts and gifted at some point. So that's really exciting. And then my other purchase was something I forgot about. I ordered, I think in, um, gosh, when did I order this? And where is it? Here it is. I think I ordered it in August, totally forgot. I ordered it from a company I've never ordered from before, Stacy at Stress Knits, and she has a podcast, which I'm sure many of you have seen. Anyway, I celebrate, as I said, Hanukkah, and this is the season of Advents. We don't really do Advents, but as a knitter, I didn't really want to be left out, so I ordered her Hanukkah Advent. One, I wanted to support a maker who was supporting Hanukkah, um, 
we are in the minority. We don't have a lot of fanfare this time of year, certainly not the same as Christmas. It is a minor holiday in the Jewish calendar that has been made bigger because of the American celebration of Christmas. But it's fun. And the idea of having something open each night of Hanukkah, there are eight nights, was fun. So it's less expensive too, which is nice, than a regular Advent, which has, you know, what, 24 days and then a skein. So this has seven days and then a full skein. And she did them all in these little bags, which are really cute. Um, they're all labeled with the numbers. And then there's a big one in blue wrap for number eight, the eighth night of Hanukkah. And then they are all in this little nice sturdy burlap sack. So I guess, or whatever you call that, linen sack. So I really like that I have it. I totally forgot that I ordered it in full disclosure, but I think it'll be really cool. Okay, just a few more things. Um, I also ordered something I saw on a podcast called The Knitting Planner. I'm a little confused because when the person held it up, it looked gigantic and they talked about how big it was. So I'm guessing that the 2020 version was made smaller. Honestly, I don't know what happened. I kind of wanted it big because I like a really big planner. Um, but it has, um, it has room to plan projects. And in the back, um, it has graph paper for notes. And then it has projects I want to knit. Um, it has knitting pattern abbreviations, which is always nice to have. Um, it has a Elizabeth Zimmerman quote, properly practiced knitting soothes the troubled spirit and it doesn't hurt the untroubled spirit either. It's pretty cool. So, um, has some pretty, you know, knit pictures and stuff. So anyway, I thought that would be a fun, you can Google it, it comes up, I forget, there's a designer who does it and it's on her website. Um, it's not very good podcasting information, sorry. Okay, so last two things. That was stashing the joy and now sharing the joy. This gorgeous skein of Lichen and Lace. Um, I had uh, said that last time for the Potiversary, I would do a drawing for this from comments and there were 10 comments and I assigned each one, um, this is really squishy, this is Lichen and Lace Huckleberry, really pretty, um, neat colors. So I assigned each one 10 and then I let Siri draw randomly between one and 10 and Siri picked four, which was Vicki Shaw. So Vicki Shaw, if you, are watching this, please um, comment below, or if you don't wanna put your address on YouTube, I guess, you can message me as, um, what am I on Instagram? <laughs> Rachley Book Girl on Instagram. So you can, um, it's posted at the beginning of the podcast. So you can do that or, um, I am Rachley on Ravelry, and you could leave me a message on Ravelry, although that is the probably the least likely place for me to find you quickly. So the Instagram message would probably be a great way to do it, or even better, comment below and tell me to look somewhere, and I will find it and get it out to you, and that's exciting, and I hope you love it and use it and enjoy it. Um, the other sharing the joy thing, I wanted to tell you I was so shocked and touched that a fellow podcaster mentioned me in her podcast. Um, that is When Harry Met Oni. It's um, a play on When Harry Met Sally, but Harry and Oni are her two cats. And her podcast is lovely. She does a lot of great knitting and she has a really easy to listen to voice and calm demeanor. And um, you should definitely check her out if you haven't. And again, I am just really touched that she um, that she commented on me or shared my podcast on hers. So that was was a huge surprise and really really nice. Um, as far as other kinds of joy, 
If you have not yet found The Amazing Mrs. Maisel, I cannot say enough how thrilling and wonderful it is. Season three um, just went up and I've already binge watched the entire thing and loved it and I love everything about it. I love the story and the writing. I love the actors. I love the sets and the costumes. It just makes me happy. It puts me in a very happy place. And I think if you haven't tried it, it is on Amazon Prime. It is the amazing Mrs. Maisel. You should do that. Okay, I am gonna sign out and try my best to figure out how to link these two videos now. We'll see. Um, have a wonderful holiday, whatever you celebrate. Um, and if you don't celebrate anything, just enjoy your knitting and your friends and your family. And Happy New Year. I won't be back before January of 2020, which sounds a little scary. But anyway, bye everyone. Have a great holiday season and um, have some joy.